Hey guys, I hope that you're all doing well today. Welcome back. Let's play some more EU4. We are these dudes. Burgundy. Ooh, yikes. It's uh, taking quite a long time. I'll just let you handle those yourself. I'll, I'll convert my own. Is there a reason why these are taking so long? Hmm. So Dortmund... I actually want him to be Protestant. So we're gonna we're gonna do those at least one more time. So what we're gonna do here is while we're still waiting on the coalition to disperse, he's already Protestant, so we'll just take all his straight power. And then what we're gonna do is on the yearly tick, we're going to peace out, and it will not allow anybody to join uh who's at 50 because they will then drop. So that'll be fine. Forts. Let's get a fort up here. We definitely need one. These, these will actually communicate so people won't be able to get into Friesland. Um, and then one there sounds good as well. These will all prevent people from getting into the interior. Um, these forts are fine. I think this is fine. This one's turned off, apparently. Apparently I'm losing money now. Missionaries, yeah, you'll have that. Okay. So, right before the yearly tick, we're going to peace out. Let's, um, send him a gift. Try to keep him, you know, at least semi-close to not joining the coalition. So, right towards the end of the year there, we take it. It is going to, so you'll see Bremen, Hesse, Lubeck, and Saxony, and Bregenz will all drop below on the yearly tick. And Württemberg is probably pretty close as well. Same with Trent. So we'll take all their money as well. And then uh, the yearly tick happens. And then if you take a look at a few of these guys over here, for example, Saxony is only at 47. Trent is at 51, so a coalition very well may form, but it, it likely won't, um, it likely won't be any, you know, big deal. So that's a nice fort to add to our line as well, which is good. Let's get some production over here, and then some taxation sounds good as well. Anything to increase our income. And now we have permanent claims on a bunch of this stuff over here. So, as far as our mission tree, Unite the Realm... Uh, once we annex him, we'll get some stuff. It's fine. Um, reclaim Johans Urania. Oh, yikes. So that's going to be a tough one. Because that's all HRE lands, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And then this will give us some stuff. Change to duchy. We're already a duchy. Uh, invade Lombardy. Get some admin and a bunch of claims in there. Okay. The Crown of Lothair. We don't want to click that one. Not yet, at least. And then, influence the princes. So once we do that, we get Diplo Rep, and then lead the Empire. We get If we can become Emperor. Ooh. Interesting. There's an idea. Well, I suppose we should probably have these guys... Well, let's get one for that. Um, so with these Diplo idea groups, it's, it's a tough one. Uh, so let's hurry up and ally him actually before we get unlawful territory. And then we will also ally him, but then we're going to break it again. Basically, I'm just trying to like get him to dislike me. That's, that's the main thing I'm doing here. See, then he's at 97. We break it again. Now he's upset. And then I say, you know what? You kind of suck, dude. And then he'll break his royal marriage with me. We have been chosen. Nice. Bestowed Imperial. Oh, we got to host the Reichstag. Very good. So let's recall our diplomat with you. And so he should break his royal marriage with me. He should break his royal marriage with me. For the Protestant faith. Yes. Thank you. Please. Please do it. Bro, you're costing me Diplo points, you jerk. But we want to hold on to our friendship with these guys for, for now. 
At least to prevent any major things to happen from happening to us that's gonna harm us. So the reformation centers are gonna convert some of this. Apparently some of it's gonna be reformed, which is obviously not ideal, but it's not a huge deal. It's not optimal. So let's also get rid of you. Get rid of this one. And put this one on missionary. That will help us convert lands. We'll we'll most we'll focus on our own lands for now. The speed of succession and Curland, huh? Von Tyrol, very cool. Allied to the Teutons, who are an OPM over here in Neumark. Hilarious. Let us rival... Poland. Let us send a... Oh, we've already insulted Poland. Right. Okay, so then who else do we have as rivals? Denmark. You guys suck and I hate you. And then Britain, you really suck. The British know nothing about running a state. How about that? And then... Let's see here. I feel like game... Game sound a little low? No, no, no. We're good. We're good. So we've got our first Diplo group. I think we're safe to take at least the first one. Trade efficiency is going to be good. Um, as we get caught up on admin and Diplo, we'll be able to um, start investing more points. So like, for example, we have all of these mill points can be developed. This is what they mean when they say playing tall, boys. Playing tall. 109,000 max, man, ma max manpower. And we're basically France. Um, so take a look at our dev here. You can see it's basically all orange and light green. Whereas most of Germany is this reddish color. So, and the Netherlands is super rich. So, once we integrate the Netherlands, it'll be even better. Um, let's do that. I still honestly can't believe that the Netherlands just became a personal union. And then like five princes just joined arbitrarily to the union. Um, that was super clutch. Let's go with the Diplo. Very good. So it looks like they ended up breaking their royal marriage with me, which I like quite a lot. So now we've got the 888. A ruler is not going to die anytime soon, sadly. So we're just sitting on it. We're just waiting. It's no big deal. Um, Manufactory. The Palatinate is a subject of Burgundy. Well, considering the fact that he's an elector and he's allied to the emperor... That's a probably a no. Uh, let's go with the manufacturer over here. Where is that at? Right here. Which manufacturer can we do? None. Well, we just can't afford them. I suppose when I have the money, I'll build one. No big deal. We do have some lazy diplomats, so let's, let's improve with some outraged countries. Who are you rival? He's just allied to Britain, so that's actually not good for... We, we kind of want to be, like, hostile to him and see if he'll get some claims over here. Normandy. Because if Normandy would get some claims over here, I'd give it to him. No problem. So he's got two forts. Neither of them... Just one is defensive. So that's okay. So we got the National Bank. This is a really good event. We have a little bit of inflation as well, which is nice. Um, inflation reduction I don't think is an issue. Do we have an idea for it or something? Oh, economic, right. So let's go with the interest per annum. And then we can build that manufactory down here. Um, how is our governing cost? So we are way over. Um, let's build a few of these then. I actually don't think our capital costs us any, but it's fine. We'll just do it anyways. We're going to definitely need a few of these. So being over our governing costs is costing us quite a bit. So the printing press spawned in our country, actually. Very good. So we get 300 mana, 20 prestige, which we can actually use to placate them. Um, placate somebody. And then 25 government reform progress. And uh, get 10% institution spread right here. In Cambria. Cam... Cam... Cambresi? Cambr 
Yeah, I'm not trying anymore. Uh, land maintenance sounds wonderful. Oh, we just unlocked the state house, which I literally was just building a bunch of uh, the next level up. Let's do this, uh, and then I think the next one will actually just take tech so we don't get unbalanced research. Though, we're pretty rich, honestly. Unbalanced research wouldn't be much of a problem. Oh wait, state house is this guy. Yes, okay. So let's just continue to build a few of these guys, see how it affects our governing costs, governing capacity. Um, I'll take the money. So, how far are we from building these buildings? So, 457, how much will it, 10% oh, building cost as well. So 557, or 457, and in a few months, ooh. Right, so we need to declare war on these guys before they join our coalition. They are allied to Bohemia and Denmark, actually. That's moderately annoying. Spain won't help them. Uh, Austria would not help me. I don't have a CB on them, apparently. So let's get some spy network. Get some hostile trading as well. All right, so it was at 457 before. So now it's at 452, so it's still pretty high. So for those of you who don't know, this actually makes everything pretty bad. Like it makes our stab costs go up, advisor costs, our improved relations, AE impact goes up really bad. Um, so it might be worth, I, I just don't know. State maintenance. I really don't know which, like what governing capacity is affected by the most. Governing development in states and territories used up Uses up governing capacity. Territories development only in counts as 25%. Governing capacity can be increased by increasing government rank. Okay. So it's basically just high dev provinces. Um, and so I suppose we go by dev then. Let's do like these guys here. Um... Something like that. Make it a little bit easier for us. France might join our coalition. I don't know, it's getting pretty close because England won't be able to for very long either. So let's actually see here. Is that something I can do? Can I get a improved relations? No. I will go with idea cost though. I would have saved us some Diplo. So yeah, we are gonna take this. This is going to be pretty cheap for us. And we'll be able to embrace institution before then as well. Let's upgrade this guy. Keep on converting stuff as well. Ah, feels bad. The reform centers got to him. So we're just converting our own land then. Everything over here has been converted, so it all has religious zeal. So none of it is going to get converted by the centers. There we go. We're making, well, we were making a lot of money a moment ago. I don't know where it all went. So let's take a look here. Cause it looks like England didn't even take any land over here. Or is it Great Britain now? Great Britain. So, we can't, vast, we can't full annex him. Onspock, the Palatinate could get a personal union. Too many Diplo relations, well. I'll take the Diplo power. We're gonna take tech so we don't get unbalanced research. I like to side with the bourgeois. Help me uh, with our dev cost, which is quite nice, mind you. This is fine. I'm actually just gonna keep these guys drilling and uh, we're gonna dev a couple of men. Manpower. We got 116. 
That's what playing tall is. Like, the borders might not be super pretty. They'll get better, though. There we go. My vassals will swarm them. I will have large participation for things that I'm not doing. And I'll get a bunch of favors with Spain, who probably already owes me a bunch of favors. Yeah, look at this. He, like, trusts me implicitly. And I'm doing nothing. So, let's see here. I want all the low dev stuff. That way I can just vassalize him later on. And I'll... Well, let's see here. Does he have any claims? He doesn't have any claims. Um... I'm definitely hostile towards you. Gascony would- if- it would be really cool if I can give him some land down here so I don't have to court up myself. Be able to embrace tech here. Oh, come on now, dude. Really, Pope man? You gonna do that to me? Half off trader? That actually would be great. go. Come on over here. Let Spain reinforce. Defensive fight over here. This is also good for us. There you go. There we go. And we just solidified that war for us. Um, I'll just take the army tradition for now. I'm definitely not gonna lose professionalism. Our tradition is garbage anyways. <laughs> so what's he going for? Conquest of Corsica. So I think we're going to not extend these monopolies. That way we can revoke them. And once his, once these guys' is, um, uh, loyalty is higher, we will be able to do that. So no big deal. Catholic Zealots, I don't think so. Mm -mm -mm. No, 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 no. There we go. Get on home. Apparently I control Roma, which is hilarious. Let's take that tech there. And then we can probably run down the rest of our mission tree here. All right, so. Pope Man gives us a ton of money, which is great. Um, and then Corsica becomes a vassal of Spain and I get 19 favors with them. Look at that. We have tr Spain trusts Burgundy utterly. This is a match made in heaven. We are the number three world power, and we have the number two world power as our bestest buddy. That's pretty good. Um, and then we're going to be able to rush down the rest of Diplo. At least I'm hoping for it. So I'm going to get claims on all this over here. Specifically these two at least. And then I'd like to vassalize France, hopefully in, in the next war. So while we're doing this, it might sa seem like we're wasting a lot of time, but right now what we're doing is we're build letting our aggressive expansion tick down with all these people. That way we can attack France, and uh, people won't be super, super upset about it. Only moderately upset about it. And uh, I'm going to assume that he's got a ton of loans. 6,000. I bet it was all from that war as well. So we probably won't embrace institution. I'll just take tech a little bit ahead of time. We do need a bit more of an economy, though. Maybe we do need to start considering if we want to integrate the Netherlands. I don't know, man. That's a tough one. Knowledge sharing? No, I'm good, man. Thank you. We're just going to take this tech here. Uh, yep, sure. Let's embrace institution and then the new year. Nice. Paper prices, innovativeness, and two base production. Sounds good to me. Let's take both of those. Let us rival the Ottoman. And, uh, send him an insult as well. Um, yep. They suck and I hate them. And how much do we need for this next one? 35, I assume? Yep. All right. So England is at war with them. They are allied to Bohemia. I'll just call in Austria. They'll handle all that for me. Let's get you over here and get you guys over there. 
and I'll get a cannon. Well, we need two cannons, a value cannon for each stack, right? And I actually don't care that much about um, attrition because we're so rich right now that it literally doesn't matter. So let's embargo, embargo them, make sure we're embargoing those guys as well. Keep our PP as big as possible. So I'd really rather not have these provinces occupied because I kind of want him to take some land. Bummer that we uh, declared for that. But as soon as we take his his um, capital, we'll be able to kind of do whatever we want, honestly. Free mill points. Let's go. Excellent news. Cap cost half off. So, what do I have claims on this? Those two? Sadly, uh, we can't really do that. So let's just see. Can we do like all three of these? Oh, that's a lot of AE. What about... Okay, so that one we can do. I'll probably like... So this one's mountains. I'll probably build a fort there for him. Or like one here in the highlands. I think we do this. Because then, hopefully they take some land over there. And then I... Uh, let's keep a short truce. So, let's see here. Gascony. I want you to have that province and that province. I know this is a little border gory, but it's okay. And then, let's build a couple of these guys as well. What is my governing capacity at? 470, dude. That's so dumb. Let's core everything up first. Excellent. Free prestige. I love prestige. So basically we've just been trading um, money for all this stuff. But check that out. By the time we get to 100, we'll be doing an extra 10 or... Mm, it won't be 10. Maybe it will. Yeah, 10% extra damage. 10. So they're marching on in. I'm going to catch them. They have higher morale, but uh, I have way superior numbers. Yeah, there you go. How's that feel? Idiot. And uh, again, I literally don't have to do anything. Like, personal unions and vassal swarm is literally autopilot. It's so nice, dude. Let's get a claim over here as well. We'll take that one. And hopefully, because he's he nothing will happen to him. As long as he's in here, nothing will happen to him. They might take a couple of those provinces. That'll be about it. Conquest of Chartier. Oh, that's kind of funny. So he's going to peace out now, probably. Uh, well, let's actually offer him access. Offer him access? No, they don't want it. Oh, look at this. Look at my army. My participation is 28% and I have not done anything. Oh, now it is going down. Big battle going on, apparently. But yeah, still, 24%. I did that one fight where I stack wiped his army. That was it. I love it. We have a ton of dev, ton of points here, so let's de do some devin. And let's do some admin devin. Here we go. And all that is going to increase our economy. Which, is, on the flip side, is increasing our governing capacity, or governing cost. Let's build a couple of these guys over here. We're definitely going to need some governing costs to go down. No doubt about that. So I get six ducats from um, Albania. Very good. That was the plan all along. It does feel really funny to see British troops just sitting on Paris. Just chilling. On holiday. As they would say. Alright, Switzerland gives some land to Austria. It gave me a province, apparently, that I didn't ask for. Remove claims in Austria. Alright, cool. Well, what's my coalition look like now? Yeah, I'm, uh, I don't know. I might get a coalition. Very good. Let's uh, max them out, just to make sure that they don't break relations with me. Vassalizing them is going to be more of a late game thing. Can we get an improved relations guy that is not mega expensive? Level one would be preferred. Very good. It's gonna help us reduce our uh, 
chances of getting a coalition. Pomerania could get a personal union. That'd be a really good one for us, actually. Quarantine the province. It's fine. Some claims over there. That's all fine and dandy. And that'll probably do it for this one. So I hope that you guys are enjoying. And if you are, please share your support. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe and ding the bell. And it'll send you notifications when we upload. And if you want to support the channel in any way, we have plenty of ways to do it. All linked in the description below the, the video. Um, I've been doing this full time for the last few weeks. And uh, the support has been incredible. And I want to thank you guys for that. So if you guys uh, want to do it and you're able, like I said, linked in the description. And we have a Discord as well. So hop in there and say hi to me over on the Discord. I appreciate all of that interaction. That's all I got for you though. This is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later. Huge special thanks to Palmer, Bloodbound, Drunk Binary, Some Kind of Meme, Valentel, Corbett, RJ Pilot, The Bitter Steel, Keith, Jonathan T.A.P., Salik, Mark Mensch, Devin Terhanika, Kenneth Wynn, Agent Rhino, Blonde Damon, Nathan Albright, William Reed, Airborne Animal 7, and many more. I appreciate you guys very much. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.